Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about Atria Institute Technology, which is one of the autonomous institute in Bangalore. So that is what I'm going to review today. And this college started in 2000. So almost like 20 batches have now passed. So from the recognition and accreditation perspective, Atria Institute of Technology is a NAC A++, which is the highest standard. And that is added from 2023 to 2028 batch. And other, it is uh, recognitions that's appro approved by AICT New Delhi, and it's an autonomous institute under Section 2F of UGC. And many of its courses are NBA accredited, and it's affiliated to Vishwasharya Technological University (VTU). And uh, that is the you know it's a recipient of the institution's Innovation Council (IIC) uh, award by Ministry of Education, right? So that is one of the things. Talking about the campus, it has the integrated campus infrastructure with uh, up around 17.5 acres, so which is quite good size in the city, uh, in the city campus of the heart of the city, right? So it provides for all the modern classrooms, seminar halls, research centers, labs and workshops, industry interaction centers. And then there are separate boys and girls hostel, which I'm going to cover the fee structure also for this. Here is a small view glimpse of the campus main infrastructure building. So this is about life at Atria. You know, it's quite vibrant and events are there throughout the year. And uh, this is some of the pictures of from those events, right? So now talking about admission process. So it takes admission through KSET, uh, Comet K. And then for uh, MBA part, it takes through PGSET. Same for MCA, it takes through PGSET and MTech also. So these are the college codes. CET code is E098, Comet K, E012. MBA through PG set is B122, MCA C50, uh, C517 and MTech T806. So now coming to the programs first. So they offer basically eight undergraduate programs under engineering, which I'll cover what are the branches. Three postgraduate programs already you have seen MBA, MCA and MTech and two UG working professional program and two PG working professional programs and also they provide minor degrees from IITs apart from the regular uh, engineering degree so you can do in AI, CSC, business analytics and the data science related fields th those minor degrees and talking about the main ma major programs in engineering which is available in this you can do BTEC in computer science and engineering, CSC and information science and engineering, ISC is also available and there is a CSC specialization branch called CSC with data science, a regular electronics and communication engineering. Apart from that, you have option of mechanical engineering and the mechanical specialization branch called robotics and automation engineering. Then you also have a civil engineering from the core side. And the last one you see is about artificial intelligence and machine learning. AIML branch is also there. Yeah. So now let's talk first about the BE admission under management quota seat. So some students who have not got the good ranks and they are looking for management quota fees, the students uh, seats. So these are the thing. So you can see the fees for the first year, right, is mentioned and the registration fee is separate. So for CSC, the management quota seat is at 4 lakh rupees per year plus 25,000. You have to give extra as a registration one time and there will be some college fee and the skill lab fee. So total it will come around 4.5 lakh rupees per year. If you are going for CS and design, which is the new course which has started 2.5 lakh rupees per year. BE computer science and engineering also do data science 2.5 lakh rupees per year. So that is economical and 25,000 registration and some skill lab fees will be extra always. Now moving to the other branches, B information science engineering is 3 lakh rupees per year plus 25,000 additional registration. AIML is also available at 2.5 lakh rupees per year and electronics and communication engineering with additional certification in artificial intelligence machine learning is available only at 1.75 lakh rupees per year and electronics and communication with the certification in IoT 1.75 lakhs EC electronics and computer so it's electronics and com ECM branch 2.25 lakh rupees per year mechanical engineering and civil engineering is available at 1 lakh rupees per year but I'll suggest not to go with any of the core branches in this college mostly stick with computer or the electronics related branches so those are there and 25,000 registration fees plus skill lab fees are those will be extra 
So the what I am showing is the basically tuition fees part of the management quota seats. Now you can also get admission through KSET which is the Karnataka CET and the fees per year is like 1.21 lakhs per year through KSET quota. It also has the seats through Comed K quota. So Comed K students can get the seat at 2,30,610 per year. For diploma students through literal entry that seat uh, fees is 1,7615. For M MCA through PG set exam, the fees is same one lakh seven thousand six hundred. MBA it's uh, sixty nine thousand through PG set exam and M Tech is also eighty thousand eight hundred sixty through PG set exam. So those are the regular fees. Now the students who are there, uh, there are some scholarship also. So hundred percent scholarship, fifty percent scholarship, and twenty five percent scholarship will be provided to top three students. Of every branch, right? So first student topper of the course will get hundred percent, second rank fifty percent, third rank twenty five percent waiver. Let me also tell you about the fee structure for the hostel. So lot of students will take hostel. So hostel fees you can check the boys for the boys caution deposit will be five thousand and a single sharing one lakh seventy thousand and double sharing one lakh thirty five thousand. And there is also triple sharing around one lakh ten thousand, so which is not shown here, but there is a triple sharing also, and the same fees are applicable for both boys and the girls student if you can see here. So those are the fee structure details, and apart from that, there will be placement fees every per year is five thousand, and IIT minor degree if you are looking for, then it will be twenty thousand per year for three years course that is sixty thousand if you want any minor degree. And uniform fees is there, T-shirts, etc., and all those things. They'll be payable extra, and GST is extra. So now let's move to the placements part of it. So first, I'm showing you 23-24 placement, which is the previous batch. So if you can see, they have said that the highest package of 24 batch was 30 lakhs, and um, approximately 259 experts have visited the campus, and they have around. Uh, you know 24 clubs which are their technical clubs and 273 technical activities have happened including 37 industry visits which were their part of 2024 bank and the highest package as they said 30 lakhs and i will show the package from which company and the type of companies which are visiting campus is like uh, it services company accenture cognizant delight ntd data infosys cgi and then some of the Indian companies like Flipkart, PhonePay and Mindtree are also mentioned there. So these are the overall companies. So the highest package as I said was 30 lakhs and this is for the information science engineering student with Amazon. So that is the highest package of 24 batch and let me give you the breakup of the package by branch. So this is first 2024 batch and then I will also give 2025 batch ongoing placement. So if you talk about the full year placement of 2024 batch, CSC 117 students were there out of which 98 got placed and 4 went for higher studies and 3 entrepreneurship. So that is looks a good mix and information science engineering 91 students were there out of which 64 got placed and 8 went for higher studies and one for entrepreneurship ECE 145 students were there out of which 77 got placed and 6 went for higher studies mechanical 49 students were there out of which 33 got placed one for higher studies civil 20 students 8 got placed one for higher studies MCA and MBA around 43 students got placed in MCA and for MBA 71 student got placed so this was the full year placement for different branches and now this is the 2025 batch placement which is ongoing so placement is still not completed it is still going on but similar numbers you can see here in this year the number of students in CSC eligible have increased to 197 out of 197 98 students got placed in the information science engineering out of 143 students 64 got placed till date uh, ECE out of 178 33 got placed and this is ongoing placement mechanical civil and mca very bad placement very few placements have happened and same with the mba so if you see computer science information science are the best branches and you can take up to ece this is ongoing numbers may be updated later 
So that's all I have to cover in this video. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates. Take care and bye.